Oh, yeah, it's working. Let's see. I gotta be able to see the. Oh, yeah, it's working. Oh, let me Let's take this. Gotta be able to see the. All right. Huh, let's move this back a little. That's good. So let's see. Got a couple of people in here. Oh, we got pulling the strings. Was first one. John C. Can you guys hear me okay? Uh, Michael Superbacker. Uh, William B. I can miss some people here. Midnight Paranormal. I don't know if this is... Yeah, I guess it's good. I'm a little bit closer. <clears throat> Hi, Hallie. Let's see. Underdog. Anthony. Andy. Hey, Andy. Rob Hall. We got Sixth Anomaly. That's a popular name. In all the chats, Christina Yofi, of course, I know you. We got Trey. Freeze Pops, yeah, I wish I had some Freeze Pops today. It's hot today. Um, what am I gonna eat? I don't know, whatever's in this box. We're gonna find out what's in this box. I'll tell you guys a little bit about that when we get some more people here. Give it a couple minutes. I had to skip dinner so I'd have, uh, be able to eat this stuff. How am I doing, Aiden? I'm doing good. Anthony, Silva, Mike Silva, Justin, Elvis. Elvis is here. It's a pretty good name. Anna, Anna Karimera. I don't know if I'm saying your last name. We'll call it Anna K. We've talked a lot on emails and stuff. I definitely recognize that name. Rob Hall, the Mermaid Muncher. I recognize that name. Uh, Ricky. I don't know what's in the box, Ricky. We're going to find out. There's supposed to be some snacks in there. International snacks. I'll tell you about it in just a little bit. Uh, Midnight Paranormal. You guys got some crazy names here. It's pretty cool. All the way from Cambridge, UK. Aaron, that's nice. I like to always want to go to Cambridge, UK. Am I a diabetic? Nope. Nope. I had my um, blood sugar checked and my A1C was always, always good. Let's see. Um, yeah, my breakfast video went out today, Larry. How fast can you eat a Sweetie McDonald? I don't even know what that is. It must be something new. I got to check it out. Uh, Sixth Anomaly. Let's see. Elvis is a mermaid munchers. Everybody saying hello to each other. Allison. Tuna's here. Tuna, I heard that you were having trouble catching uh, lives. You got this one perfect. Ryan's only been a member about a month or so. It's pretty cool. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate it. What the heck, Samantha? Oh. Um. That breakfast challenge, that wasn't too long ago. That was, what, about a week ago I filmed that. Uh, see, we've got 83 people in here. That's pretty good. Let's try to get to these snacks in just a minute. Natick Mass, Nolan, how you doing? Christina Nofi with Gin Tuna. Tuna. How old am I? Um, what the heck, Samantha? I am 46. Too old to be doing competitive eating. Hey, there's CRL. What's good? CRL. Um... Everybody's saying hello to each other. It's pretty cool. Everybody recognizes each other in these things. The, the uh, eating community is pretty tight. Um, Nizar. My hero, I've been watching Mastonian Eric Electric for years. Cool. So, yeah, I need some. I wish I had their numbers and, and subscribers. They got tons and tons. But I appreciate that, Nizar. Um, Ford Man. He's going to bed. He's smarter than all of us. Okay. Um, 
Anthony, it's hot outside. It's the summertime. I would tell you if it, it's not going to be. No, I don't have air conditioning. I don't. I don't like. I don't. I don't use. It. I just use a fan. If I get, if I'm in front of a fan, I'm good. It's just there's no. I don't want to put the fan in here because it'd make a noise. It wouldn't be good for the live. So, um, let's see. If we can break a hundred people, then I'll start. We'll figure out what's in this package. Um, more thirty and thirty challenges. Yes, I think I do have a couple of them coming up. I don't know when I'm going to film them, but I have a couple of them do, scheduled. One of them, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do, but I'll, I'll give it my best try. Uh, fan meetup in Boston? No, I don't know. <laughs> kind of shy. If I'm ever there, if, if there's ever a contest in Boston, I'll let everybody know. Um, hands on. No, I'm not married. Uh, Rob Hall, make me own meatball and sauce. Uh, I've done a couple of meatball challenges. I, I've, I've actually meatballs are one of the things that I can cook for myself, and I do make myself, so I could do that. But ten pounds, I'd have to go a little bigger, I think. Um, Sarah McConnell. Wow, she changed her name. Sarah Safari Chick McConnell. Wonder why she changed the name. She goes on safaris now. Um, Milk Dud Challenge. Ooh, I don't know about milk duds. I was thinking about doing the, you know, the Whoppers. They're like the malted milk balls. I was thinking about doing those. But I don't know. Milk duds would be rough because they're like, aren't they just like caramel drops? Oh, that would stick to your teeth. Um, jalapeno sandwiches. No, thank you. Six anomaly. All right. We got 106 here. I'm going to get to more of this, but I want to try some of the stuff in this package. This is a package. It's from a company that sent it to me. It's called Treats or Try Treats. I think if you go to the website, what I'll do is um, after this video publishes, I'll put all this information in the description. You guys can go back and check it out. Um, it's called Try Treats. What you do is you can just go there and they, they, you can order boxes of treats. These are international treats, I think. And you can either do like a subscription or how do I open this? Oh, you can either do like a subscription or, you know, I think that these things are getting pretty popular. We can just order treats. I'm kind of hungry. I skipped dinner. Boom. Let's see. We got some paperwork here. I better keep this. This is the information I'll put in the uh, description below. And let's see. There's a sticker here. I'm not sure. I don't know if this is from a particular country or not. There's like a sticker. Anybody recognize that sticker? Where's the camera? I don't know. Maybe it's just the company logo. Anyways, let's see what we got. We got some paperwork here. All the different kinds of what's inside your box. Oh, okay. So they got a description here of what's inside. That's good because I never know what the heck this stuff is. This is a, looks like stuff from Brazil maybe. And it, yeah, this is a, it's a picture of that famous statue in Brazil. So this looks like it's a treat from Brazil. All right. Brazilian treats. Too bad Kabuchi wasn't here. If Kabuchi was here, he could tell us all about this stuff. Kabuchi is another competitive eater from Brazil, and he's actually in the United States now. So let's see. Let's try these things. They cut the, I'm not going to be able to say all these names. You guys can see. I don't know if it's backwards for your screen, though. Looks backwards to me. Is it on there? No, it says Torcida. That says Torcida, I think. Torcida. Mm, let's see if it's on this list. Yeah, Torcida chips by Lucky. Brazilians are known to be big football fans, and these chips are great football snacks. Torcida, which means cheer, party. Yeah, so these are like potato chip type things. And let's check them out. They kind of like... Hmm. They kind of taste like Fritos. Like corn chips. Mmm. I am starving too. These are good. Yep. Definitely tastes like corn chips. Like Fritos. I don't know, the shape of Fritos kind of freaked me out a little bit. I don't know if you guys... These are better. I like these. These are like little pockets. 
Those are really good. Whew. All right, let's do another chip. We got this chip bag here. I'll do a couple snacks here, and then I'll try to read some more. These are, I don't know, it has like a weird uh, alligator picture on the front there. I don't know what these are. Let's see. Uh, what the heck is this? I don't know if it's on here. Um, oh, yep. Tasty snack for hours of fun. <laughs> what? It says a delicious and distinct ham flavor. The flavor. These so. What? No, this must be these other ones. Uh, cheese. These are cheese. So that means th there's another one here. There's two. I'm gonna go after this. Actually, this one here because it says this one tastes like ham. Let's see. I can't believe it. They kind of look like little dishes. Oh. Hmm. That kind of does taste a little bit like ham. That's a strange flavor. I mean, it's not bad. It tastes like a chip. Yeah, there's a little picture of a ham on there, too. It kind of tastes like a regular chip that they put, like, a little bit of the fat from the ham on it. And these ones, these are, like, the same thing, but these are cheese. Yep, very strong cheese flavor. It's very good. I don't know, the main difference between the Brazilian cheats and the American cheats, I, I don't need a lot of the stuff, but it's like the shape, the shape of the actual chip seems to be different. Like, you would never see a chip like that shaped in the United States. The flavors are pretty similar, though. Let's see what's going on in the chat. What the heck is the Skolachki's sandwich? I don't know. How about 10 pounds of chocolate? Man, I'd love to try a 10-pound chocolate bar challenge. I just got to... They're expensive, though. Um... Let's see, 15 and 15 of red meat. Uh, what's the gossip? Emperor has missed a couple of... Yeah, Emperor, you've been kind of slacking on the, the um, live streams. Let's see, I got to catch up, though. We've got 138 people in here now. Andrew, am I still a champ of mac and cheese? I, I didn't... I don't know if I was ever the champ of mac and cheese. What's my favorite food to eat? Mermaid Muncher, um, like, I don't know, I, I like pizza. That's my favorite thing. Um, I wish I could eat pizza every day, but it's not good for your waistline to eat pizza every day. Let's see. Um, no, these are not dog treats. These are actually very good. Um, again, if you guys want to try some of these snacks, I'll put the um, links. Everything's going to be down in the description. Probably I'll do that tomorrow morning after this video uploads tonight. Ooh, it's hot in here. Um, yeah, these are all Brazilian snacks. There's, uh, there's some other chocolate ones in here too. I'm gonna, I'll uh, sample everything and maybe I'll come back around and like I did in my um, my breakfast video and, and, and eat some more of the other ones today. I'll t eat some ones I like the best. What the heck are they talking about? Why are you talking about Nate? Um, Wow, yeah, these are these chips were really good. Five pounds of milk duds. I mean, I could do that, but I, I don't know. I, I think 
Oh, maybe. We'll see. Um, yeah, Carbucci Eats. He's from from Brazil. He probably knows all about these snacks. Um, he's probably eating large amounts of these snacks. Maybe in some of his videos. Let's see. Do I ever get a stomachache? Not very often, actually. I'm very um, people ask that. I don't. I don't get a stomachache very often. It's, it's very rare. Um, I don't. I don't know what that means. Um, let's see. You should try tacos on corn tortillas. Yeah. There's so much stuff like you can do with tacos. You can just like with the corn chips and stuff. There's tons. Um, yes, I saw Joel Hansen's Lucy. I saw Joel Hansen's Toblerone challenge. I'd love to try that. Um, I think I would tackle a little different, a little bit differently than he did, but it's it's tough. I don't know. 22 pounds of chili possible? Yes, I think it's possible. I've done, I've done 20, at my, check out my baked beans video. I've done 22 pounds of baked beans. So it wouldn't be fun, but it's definitely possible. Hi, Randall Cox. Let's see. Oh, Ryan, don't eat pizza if it gives you diarrhea. Um, ah, got you hooked on zero Powerade. Yeah, it's good stuff. I like it. It's uh, people say it has a lot of electrolytes, but if you actually look at the label, it doesn't. It's not too bad. Too, too bad. Let's see, E Bray, uh, will you do a hot Cheetos or Sun Chips challenge? Um, I mean, like how? How? Like how? I'd have to get like a bunch of bags of them. That would take forever. I did a couple of potato chip challenges. They're not very good because they go so so slow. Um, potato chips are hard to eat fast, so I don't know. The ham chips, ah, they they were pretty good. Yep. Like I said, they tasted like the other chips, but it kind of tasted like maybe they sprayed them with the um, the grease they used was maybe ham grease instead of vegetable oil. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what they are, but they weren't like, they didn't taste like you were eating ham. They just had a little bit of a ham flavor to them, which was not bad. Just, Leslie, did, did I ever go to the Just Chicken place in Mass? I don't, I never heard of it. So I've never been there. Um, uh, no. Actually, I've only been to... Let's see. Nizar asked me if I about the Blooming Onion. Um, I've only been to Outback once and I never had the Blooming Onion. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not eating tripe. <laughs> Squirrel, not eating tripe. No, thank you. How many pounds could you eat at once? 30-pound challenge? No, I definitely could not do 30-pound challenge. And depending on the food, like some foods, 15 pounds is a lot, and, and there are other foods, um, 20 pounds is a lot. And I don't really like to include the um, liquid weight, so that's just all food. So it, it's tough. Once you get past, once you get past like 12 or 13 pounds of just food weight, it, the challenge gets difficult. And if it's like a liquidy food, um, once you get past like. 16 pounds of like li liquidy type of food it gets tough so it, it depends on the type of food um yeah tuna's help answering questions helping out let's see oh what the heck are those things uh M, M bing 70 has 50 to 75 walmart 50 cents mini pies i've done i've done um I've done 50 of those mini pies before. Actually, Walmart buys those pies off a company that's local to where I live um, called Table Talk Pie Company, makes those for Walmart, and I actually did it with Table Talk Pies. Um, how many fluid ounces do I drink daily? It depends on, like, today I drank a lot because it was hot out and I was outside most of the day. But at, not, not any more than the average person, I would guess. Um, 10 pounds of mac salad. I think I've done I've done um, macaroni salad. I th I've done that video. Check it out. Coney Island hot dogs. Yes, I'd love to go to Coney Island hot dogs. Shoot a video there. Um, there's, if that's in Worcester. That's the one he's talking about. K 
Can I beat my 181 wings in 10 minutes? Is that what I did? I, I have no idea. I'm not sure. I, it all depends on the day, the wings, how the meaty they are, what kind of wings. It, it, there's a lot of, a lot of different stuff to do with the wings. Um, how much grease is in the pan? Because sometimes when you eat the wings, they soak up the grease and it's all different. So um, breaking records, like wing record, that's very subjective. Like you could have a really good day and you still didn't break the record. Brad 2000, thanks for watching. Um, do I like beer? No, I don't drink any beer. T.E. Smith, yes, Molly Schuyler. She could very well be the fastest. Um, why are you home? Would you try a homemade wrap challenge? Sure. Why not? Why did that one just get deleted? I don't know. Um, your father grew up right behind Table Talk Pies and Worcester. Oh, cool. You, I wonder... They used to have like an outlet store there. I remember it's it's uh, they have another one now. But when I was a little kid, they used to have an like outlet store. You can go down there and get pies really cheap. Um, how do you feel about Tom and Gronk? I that must be football. I don't I don't I don't even follow football. This is just a, a hat that someone gave me. <laughs> it's a comfortable hat. Um, do I like Thai food? Uh, I uh, I never tried it. Um, crab rangoons, that would be a fun challenge. Uh, Toronto, Canada, cool, yeah. <clears throat> I heard the borders just opened up too from Canada. You, you, we can, we're allowed to go up to Canada now. Pretty things are moving along. How about a homemade poutine challenge? Well, maybe I'll have a poutine video coming out this weekend. Uh, a huge quesadilla quesadilla i would love to do that challenge but i <clears throat> i don't think i can make it what's the least favorite food i've tried recently i don't know that's tough because i if i don't think i like the food i won't even try it i don't really eat my regular diet i don't really eat that many different things <clears throat> i try to like keep it you know chicken breast i eat a lot of <clears throat> greek yogurt i protein shakes that that's what I eat. I don't eat anything like crazy. So, <clears throat> chicken wings from Jewel Challenge, bro. Hmm. Let's try another one of these snacks here. Let's see. We got. <coughs> what is this? This is. Uh, I'm assuming this is like a banana thing because it's like a. It's. Bahananana or something by Frutabella. Let's see, naturally healthy snack made from overripe bananas. So they're going to be sweet. Overripe bananas are usually mixed with sugar, create highly nutritional snacks. Yeah, so you got overripe bananas and sugar. I don't know if that's highly nutritious. A lot of energy. Oh, cool. I thought it'd be like a little chocolate bar, but it's like, um, it kind of looks like a fig bar, but it must be made with bananas instead of figs. So this actually looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it is. It's like a dried banana. It's like a think of a fig bar, but made with bananas instead of the fig. Very sweet. Pretty good. All right. Let's try this laka. This is richy creamy. Okay, this is a chocolate bar. Uh, tasted creamy and smooth chocolate. So this is like a basic old chocolate bar. Oh, good. Too. It's white chocolate. You guys like white chocolate? It's, or do you like the, the regular chocolate or dark chocolate? What's your favorite? Yeah, it smells just like white chocolate. So it's a pure white chocolate bar. One of my favorite things. I love white chocolate. Hmm. Let's try this thing. Looks like it's a. I wish I could pronounce these names correctly. This is one of Brazil's best selling bonbons. So this is a bonbon. Whenever I think of bonbons, I think of married with children and Peggy and bonbons on the couch. 
Um, the thin wafer and two layers of delicious chocolate flavoring coating filled with irresistible ca oh, cashew cream. All right. So we got cashew cream and chocolate and wafers here. Mm. Wow. That is really good. That might be my favorite thing so far. The cashew cream in the middle is really good. This is, mm, this must be like a dark chocolate bar. Yep, these dark chocolate bars are made from rich chocolate with crunchy honey inside. Hmm. Creamy and smooth chocolate with crunchy honey gives it a texture anyone would love. Simply different. So this is a chocolate with crunchy honey. So that's like the nest that's like um Nestle's crunch bar, but instead of having the rice krispies, it has the crunchy honey. It's pretty good. You can taste the honey. That is pretty good. After the chocolate goes away, you can taste the um, the honey flavor. Bucks fan wants me to come to Maine and do a seafood challenge. I just want to do like a regular um, fish and chip challenge. That's that would be my favorite. That's these are good snacks. Holy cow! Tuna, what the heck is Wanko Soba? I have no idea what this stuff is. All you can eat Chinese buffet. Yes, I know where this one is actually pretty close to where I live, too. And uh, I don't know about filming in there, though, because it was kind of I remember last time I went there it was like dark inside. So I don't know. Maybe I'd need somebody else there with me, I think, to help me film. Anna wants to know, am I still healing or am I okay? I don't, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Anna. Uh, I, I'm, I don't remember healing. I don't remember hurting myself recently. My least favorite food challenge, well, my least favorite contest I ever did was shrimp cocktail. That food, ugh. I just don't like it. It was really good shrimp cocktail, but. Bunch of Whitman samplers. Yeah, that would be a really fun challenge. Banana is also good with peanut butter. Yes, banana and chocolate mm -hmm. and peanut butter sandwich. Oh, that would be really good. Peanut butter and um, Nutella. Uh, so something insidious. Uh, I want to know, how come you do not, you, I don't vomit when eating too much, basically sweets and stuff like that. That's something I think is, is individual to the person. Some people, they get, some people get sick. Some people don't. Some people tolerate, but I've always handled food. I can remember going to all you can eat um, places, and my friends would all, always ha be having trouble, and I wouldn't have any trouble. I'd like, um, you know, I'd race them back to the car. I, right after eating all that food, I'd run back to the car to, you know, to get the get the best seat, and they would be like, "How the heck are you running?" It just never bothered me. Uh, right? I like Lucy likes white and dark chocolate the most. Yes. Um, bought a big bar of milk, milk chocolate with almonds at Trader Joe's. How big was it? White chocolate Kit Kats. Yes, I heard those are really good. Um, pudding challenge. Yes, I did. I did a pudding challenge. I can't remember how big it was. Check out that video. Uh, white peanut butter cups. Yes, they do sound delicious. Do peanut butter challenge. Oh, do a peanut challenge. I did a uh, nut challenge and it it didn't go good. It's just very difficult to eat nuts very fast and it just took forever. And yeah, I just, I don't think I'll do that again. Um, C's chocolate. Yes, somebody sent me, Wendy sent me some C's chocolate. I think it was from C's uh, a while back. It was really good. Ryan doesn't like dark chocolate. Hey, whatever you like. Aaron, are you planning on hitting up pork rolls next month? Um, 
I haven't 100% decided yet, Aaron. Um, I got to see. I got to see what the travel cost is to get to Texas because it's the same day as tamales. So I don't know. Um, probably 60, 40, 60% 60 chance going to tamales instead of pork roll. But I haven't booked any travel plans yet. So, Aaron, you, are you going to be there, Aaron, to watch? You are so busy now with your new house and new kids. When do you plan to do a challenge with the leftovers in the freezer? Well, uh, Six Anomaly, I've been um, trying to give the leftovers away as much as possible to people that would appreciate them. So I don't really have a lot. Um, Ryan likes... Doesn't like the dark chocolate. Well, there's all different types of percentage of dark chocolate you can get too. You, you know, you can get less percent and it doesn't taste as uh, bitter. Squid chocolate. What the heck? Fig Newton challenge. Oh, maybe. I think that would be good for the fall. Get all your uh, fiber. <laughs> I think it's fiber. Um, Tuna Emperor, I thought we just did sloppers not that long ago. No. Slopper contest did not happen yet. That's in a couple weeks. Um, the tuna challenge. Yes, I did tuna. Uh, I don't think anybody else has done tuna either, so <laughs> it's not a fun challenge, especially the way I did it. Yes, Andrew C., I did the Twix. No kids. Uh, what the heck, Samantha? Do I have an air fryer? Yeah, my oven actually is an air fryer. Yep. Uh oh oh Anna the croquettes contest yeah that was a long time ago and yes I got the flu I had the flu but that was like a couple years ago I couldn't I missed the croquettes contest because I had the flu that sucked um Luke S nope not married am I a fan of cheese pizza or deluxe i like just regular plain cheese pizza or sometimes with extra cheese um do i have a dream challenge crl i don't know i've done i've done just about everything i can imagine um ah uh, dream challenge i'd like to do the um it's not really a dream challenge but just what i want to do for a long time um, it's the very first challenge I ever wanted to do, and I never actually did it. I want to go to uh, Ben and Jerry's and do the Vermonster challenge. Get that big bucket, Vermonster. So uh, I'd like to do that. Garlic, the goose, wants me to do gross stuff. <laughs> I don't want to eat a bunch of stuff blended together. That's how Brandon, the garbage disposal, likes to do that stuff. Uh, I'd love to do a Long John Silver's challenge. Aaron's going to be at Pork Roll. Cool, maybe... Did you sign up so you can get in it, or are you just going to go watch? So the Trader Joe's chocolate pie is over a pound. Yeah, that's not bad. It's pretty big. Um, uh, wow. Well, maybe with the baby. Yeah, you can bring the baby there. It's not too bad. It's, it's pretty um, kid-friendly. Uh, 5,000 gummy bear challenge, Jamal. Oh, my God. I don't like gummy bears to begin with, and that would just be awful. You just have to... Peeps challenge, Jamal. I've done peeps like crazy. I think I've eaten more peeps than anybody else on YouTube. Um, cheese challenge. Oof. <laughs> Christina, uh, Yofi wants to cook for me. <laughs> I, you wouldn't like cooking here. I don't have any um, cooking stuff. Let me, uh, this this is copying my attention here. Let's see. This is Chokito by Nestle. Chocolate bar with chewy fudge center, crunch, rice krispies covered in real milk chocolate. All right. So this sounds like a regular. Oh, yeah. You can see the crunch. So this is actually made by Nestle's. Hmm. The fudge in the center is really good. I 
I don't know why Nestle's holds these things for other countries. They don't make them for us. That's better than like a regular Nestle's bar. See, this is a baton chocolate stick with cylindrical form. Best selling chocolate for children in Brazil. Seventeen million Brazilians eating this, so they can't be wrong, right? Kind of looks like a Tootsie Roll. Like that. It's not the same consistency as a Tootsie Roll. It's just a round piece of chocolate. Good chocolate. And I think this is the last thing in the box. So yeah, if you order one of these boxes, you get to have all the cheese. That'd be kind of fun. Order one of these boxes and just try like one a day. What is this? This is big. So these are cookies stuffed with milk chocolate filling, especially designed to provide a nutrition filled and fun snack. Hmm. So in Brazil, they're really pushing these things as being nutritious. Got a picture of an elephant on there and a zebra. Let's see. It's like a graham crackers. Like an animal cracker almost. With a little bit of chocolate on the inside. Oh, yeah, the animal's are always different. The elephant and a cheetah. Yeah. I definitely want a glass of milk now, though. Those are good. Hector was saying something here. Aaron, Aaron fixed them up here. Okay. Sounds like Christina's on the men. She's getting, she's doing a lot better. Almost out of her wheelchair. Sounds good. Um, Ryan doesn't like pineapple on his pizza. Hey. I think you should be able to put whatever you want on your pizza. Thanksgiving challenge, huge Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, that would be good. If you want to put a Thanksgiving dinner on top of your pizza, I think you should be able to do that. Do whatever you like. Whatever you like to eat, that's what you should eat. Leslie's dear. Yeah, Papa Gino's is really good. Leslie, Leslie's son. What, what is this? Leslie's son uh, brought Papa Gino's all the way up to her in Maine. Yeah, that's a Massachusetts chain around here. Um, oh, Caroline, they wouldn't make you the monster. That's weird. Did you go to the, did you go to the, um, Ben and Jerry's, like the actual factory up there? I think it's in Manchester. Or did you just go to like a regular store? That's weird. They wouldn't make it for you. What do I eat on non-challenge days? I eat like protein shakes, a lot of, um, fat free, uh, yeah, fat free Greek yogurt. I eat a lot of, uh, sometimes I eat some oatmeal. Um, tuna fish sandwiches, I eat, um, chicken breasts, protein bars, not a whole lot of good stuff that you guys would probably want to eat. Um, well, Lucy, number one with what? I didn't sign up last time. That's true, Aaron, but I don't know, you could sign up anyways, just, you know, what the heck, if they let you in, they let you in. I would have signed up if you, registration might be closed by now, but hey, what the heck? If they, they pick you to be in there, they pick you to be in there. That's their, that's their, you just sign up. 
Uh, Anna, I don't know if we have a Long John Silver near me. I'd have to check that out. You have to get back to me. And now we have Darren Eats. I wish I had the uh, um, live skills of Darren. Darren goes live a lot, and he's really good at it. Check out his channel. That's what he always says. So check out Darren Eats' his channel. His dream challenge would be Truth or Dare Challenge. Oh, my God. Darren likes to get in trouble. But he needs to... When he makes bets, he needs to be a little... He's got to... Um, He's got to try to be a little bit active to make the bet a little better in his favor. Christina loves uh, gummies. CRO wants the marijuana challenge. Go to it. I don't. I don't want it. Fireman Hugh. No, I'm not a fireman. I got the background for a fireman. What does that mean? I used to start. I started a fire once when I was a little kid. Um. We started a hayfield on fire by accident. Uh, they put it out, though. It didn't get too big. Um, let's see. How do I keep my weight down? There's no tricks to keeping your weight down. If you don't put it in your mouth, you won't put it on your stomach. So you just got to not eat so much. That's all there is to it. There's no fancy diets or anything like that. Just the number of calories you eat. That's it. Um, Caroline, what's my dream hike? Oh, dream bike. Oh, Darren, that's easy. I, that uh, Quadzilla, Quad Racer 500. If I could get one of those, that's what I would get. Quad Racer 500. Jeff, yes, I have made soap. Actually, I was thinking about making some liquid soap here in just a little bit. It's better to make it in the summertime. Um, just it comes out. It just seems easier to me, I don't know, in the summer because you got to cook it for a long time. Um, yeah, I was going to think about making some liquid soap. I haven't made bar soap in a while. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Licorice challenge. I heard licorice, if you eat too much licorice, it could be poisonous. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, white chocolate Twix, it definitely sounds good. Spam challenge. Yeah, I got I to gotta do a spam challenge. do Hostess Donuts, yes. I've eaten plenty of Hostess Donuts. If you go on the MLE web website, there's a video of me eating Hostess Donuts in a contest. We've eaten them. That's one of our contest foods we used to have. Yeah, Darren's on here. I watch Darren's lives all the time. He's more entertaining than me, though. He does all kinds of stuff. Lifts weights. A fast banana challenge. Oh, eat a lot of bananas fast. Ugh, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of... But do you think people would want to see that? I don't know. Um, yeah, peanut butter challenge. I don't know. Actually, uh, I think I've done a couple of challenges that had peanut butter in them. And I didn't do too good. Like, they, the peanut butter, I don't know. It slows me down. Um... Jacob Hansen, doing good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, mass hole, that's not a, I don't think that's a bad term. I think that's kind of a term of endearment. Pro eaters train like athletes. Uh, I guess. I guess you can make that comparison. Um, I, the, the beverage I pick sometimes depends on what I got in the fridge, um, Avenging Angel. So... I've done milk with cookies and stuff before. No tattoos, G.E. Smith. Let's see. Yeah, CRL was at the um, pizza. I did a collab with Molly. We ate a big pizza. Um, I don't know when I'm going to put that video. I might wait for Molly to put her video up and... Um, Put mine up afterwards. So that might not be out for a while. It was a big pizza. Uh, I don't know how much it weighed. We went to both places. They said they wouldn't make it because of COVID. Oh. Oh, dang. That sucks. That's like one of one of Matt Stoney's first videos, too, is him doing that, that challenge. It's expensive. Isn't it like 40 or 50 bucks for that thing? Which chicken sandwich do I prefer? KFC? Um, 
Jamal, really? I'm not picky. I would eat any of them. I don't know if I... I'd, I'd say Popeyes because those are probably the last ones I've eaten. The only ones I really can remember. I'm, I'm not really picky when it comes to eating food. Crawfish on your pizza. Sure. Cool Dragon's been having trouble with his liver. Uh-oh. What are you supposed to eat for that? I think you're supposed to eat uh, milk thistle or something like that if you're having liver problems. Uh-oh. This just jumped. Um... Oh, had surgery. I had a liver biopsy one time. You ever have one of those? It's kind of weird, weird, uh, weird thing they do to you. All for no reason. Stupid doctors. They order these tests for no reason, good reason at all. I had to go through all that for nothing. Um, I'm a teacher. Yep, crawfish. Guys, having like competitive eating. Um, Jeff versus Notorious Bob. Oh, and food chess. Yeah, Bob's kind of got a thing going there with that food chest. It's a pretty cool idea. I never thought of that. But that that would be um that would be kind of fun. That would be fun. It's like a whole new thing. I hope that takes off. That's it's really cool. I think they do it with like a bunch of different foods. I think it would be cool just to have like a bunch of the same foods. Maybe like if you had like um Big Macs. One person eats one Big Mac, the other one eats the other Big Mac, and then you just keep going. I think that would be really fun. Uh-oh. Chicago-style pizza? Sure, why not? Ben & Jerry should come out with an ice cream that has the vaccine in it. <laughs> um, I feel fine at the, the, after that chance. Darren Eats. <sighs> wow. A super chat from Darren Eats. That's, like, unbelievable. Here's some money to go towards your quadzilla. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get one. They stopped making them, but I, I, I think that was probably the best best four-wheeler ever made. Still is. I think it's better than a Banshee. Yeah, Christina, I think it is. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to eat a lot of licorice, so I don't know if it sounds dangerous. Um... Thanks for the super chat. Darren, yes, triple that. Thanks for the super chat. A super chat from Darren is like, I don't know, like the president waving at, waving at you or shaking your hand. That's like unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> um, the penguin's cap. Where is it? I think it's in the other room. Um, lobster. No, nah, I, I don't really. Lobster's too expensive and I, it doesn't really taste great to me. Uh oh, another Caroline. He has some money to go towards your mega quadzilla. <laughs> Thank you, Caroline. What's a mega quad quadzilla? That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'll have to have to get the motor, tweak the motor on it to make it a mega quadzilla. Um, I know you guys are talking about going to the bathroom here, I think. Let's see. Thank you for so the super chat, F Caroline Freeman. Yes, definitely. Hit the like button. Sure. What did Aaron say? Darren's laughing at Aaron. I don't know what he said. Making Darren look discount. <laughs> yeah. But he is discount. He's, he's proud of it. Why, why, would he, why would he care? Um... Do competitive eaters love being tortured? No, I don't think so. Just like anybody when they compete. Um, when anybody competes, they push themselves. And it's, it's not because you like being tortured. just like pushing yourself. <laughs> How many Insta shirts do you own? I own probably 10. What the heck, Samantha? Okay, that's what she wants now. She's a dollar nine. Yes, people would like the fast banana challenge. All right, I'll think. I actually have someone that wants to sponsor a banana challenge, and I've been telling them no, so maybe I can combine them both. I don't know. How many? How many? That would maybe I'd like peel the bananas and then weigh them and see how long it takes me to eat like 10 pounds of bananas. Oh my god, that would be a rough challenge. Um, 
How many hot dogs did you eat again in the hot dog eating contest? 50. I ate 50. I should have. I'm surprised nobody mentioned it yet. I'm actually happy nobody mentioned it yet. If you watch the video of the hot dog eating contest, right around minute eight, when we eat hot dogs, we, um, this, we use a technique where you eat the hot dogs and the buns. I don't want to get into that. But if you watch around minute eight, I kind of pull up and I stop eating hot dogs like that. And I start eating them picnic style. If you watch the video, and I didn't, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure of my number. There's counters there and stuff like that. But you know, you can go by the counters. But I never really, you know, I look look at them and say, okay, I'm probably near that number. But I don't think you're that accurate. I didn't know I was gonna hit 50, so I kind of pulled up a little bit. But I think if I wouldn't have done that, I think if I would have kept to the, the 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 regular, we eat the hot dogs and the buns. I think I would have probably broke my personal best. But I don't know. I just felt like eating them changing for some reason. I, I shouldn't I shouldn't have done that, but it's kinda no one no one mentioned that in the, in the uh, so no one no one watched the video. Maybe you can't see it, I don't know. But right around minute eight, do you should check check the uh, check the video if you can see right around minute eight. I start picking up the regular hot dogs and I start eating them with the bun. Melbourne, Australia, cool. Melbourne, Australia, how, I heard you guys are having like crazy lockdowns over there in Australia. Like you can't even leave your town. You can't leave your house. I, I hear all kinds of stuff on the news. How much is that is true? 12 bowls. I'm not eating any sardines. I couldn't eat 1.2 pounds of sardines. Never mind. Oh, something just changed here. I don't know what it is yet. We'll get down there. What Banshee's quads rock? I think a uh, Quadzilla is better than a Banshee, myself. Banshee's got the twin. I think a Banshee's what? Only, a Banshee's a 350. It's got the twin, but it's only a 350. Quadzilla's 500 cc. Um, next competition is going to be Labor Day weekend. We're going to have some competitions coming up. What's up, Henry? What was my very first challenge? What type of my very first challenge? If you watch the video today, Elm Center Cafe, they used to have a challenge called the Colossal Combo. I think I put a picture of it in the video there. I failed. That was my very first restaurant challenge I ever did, and I failed it. So that was it. And then I went back and I completed it uh, about a couple months later. But that was the very first place I did a challenge, and the very first place I failed my very first challenge. So. Nah, I'd be okay with the potassium, I think, with the tuna. I'm not too worried about it. Um, Connie from Cal. How about a five guys? I've done a five guys challenge. Mm, Christina Yofi. She got this little crazy $9.99 with the, and this little crazy dancing dude. Thank you, Christina. Um... That's the best collab, Jeff and Darren. I've collabed with Darren a couple of times uh, in the video. We did a pizza place up in... Um... Where the heck was that? That was that was way up, almost near the Canadian border. Um, and I think we had ice cream in um, Buffalo before, too. We did a challenge together. Any other ones? I, I can't remember. Australia is the fastest region. Oh, boy. I watched it... Uh... Ah, uh, Darren, because I figured, uh, I just kind of pulled up. I don't know. I didn't think I was going to hit my personal best. And I think I looked and I ha I think I had, um, I knew I pretty much was going to be, get second place and I wasn't going to get first. And I didn't think I was going to get, I didn't think I was going to get 50 switching like that. So I just like, you know what, what the heck? I'll just eat them like this. And I think I was, I don't know. But if you watch the video, you can see I do do that. Yeah, the Banshees do look cool, but um, Darren, I, I I go for the performance though myself. I I think, I think that five hundred um, would just do better. I think it's a little bit bigger of a, a four, it's a little wider too, so I think it'd be more fun. How long will my career last? That's the question. I don't know. I thought about quitting a couple times, but especially with this COVID stuff, because I don't know, you're training for nothing and it, I don't know, it's not that fun. 
No, nah, no one calls me Buzzsaw. That was just something someone... Actually, someone at the Elm Center... That name came from someone from the Elm Center Cafe. Um, I'll keep hitting this button. No, yeah, I got like... I can find a Quadzilla. It's just... I don't... Uh, I just don't know if I'd ever ride it. I just... What am I going to buy it and look at? I got my Jeep. Anyways... All my money goes into my Jeep. Let's just laugh. Love the channel real quick. How good is Molly Sue? Um, I think Molly's probably... Uh, Molly's probably better than me and Stoney right now. Stoney, when Stoney was at his best, he was pretty dang good. He was better than I am now. Um, I think she's better than me. Chestnut, I think if Chestnut would ever compete against Molly... So you guys don't understand... You say, well, Chestnut's good at hot dogs, but he's, you know, he can be beat at other foods. That's not exactly true. Chestnut can be beat when he doesn't put the effort in. If he puts the effort in, he's going to win. And I don't know if that makes sense, but um, I remember there was, you, you guys talk about his performance at Coney. Um, I think Joey's best performance was at a, um, what was the name of those sandwiches? They were called... Uh, mutton sandwich. We had a mutton sandwich contest, and he. I, I just got. I just came off doing a, a pizza contest against Matt, and I. I killed Matt. I destroyed him at the pizza contest. Joey got nervous because um, I don't know. He gets nervous. He, he he reads into things, and he was ready for that contest. And I think his best performance ever was at that contest. He ate. I think he ate 50 of those sandwiches and it came out to be, and this was a legit because I, I checked the weight on these things. This was a legitimate 50, uh, I'm sorry, 20 pounds of those sandwiches. So in 10 minutes, he ate 20 pounds of those sandwiches. At Coney, he only eats maybe 15, 16 pounds of hot dogs and bun. I mean, he eats a lot of water as well, but um, I don't count water. I just talk about food. So I think that contest was actually Joe when because he, he wanted, he came and he wanted to win it. And so he practiced and he was ready. Um, so I think if Joey wants to win the contest, there's nobody that can beat him. There's a couple of contests, maybe like wings or something like something that's like fid fid fiddling. You, you just can't eat much faster just because they're so fiddly. He might be able to get beaten. But um, anything we just eating regular food, I think if Joey wanted to, he, there's nobody in the world that could beat him. And that goes with hot dogs. And anybody ever thinks they're going to beat him at hot dogs? There's, there's no chance because you think he did good this year, 76. If he was pushed, he he could he can hit 80. So is anybody going to eat 80? I don't think there's anybody on the circuit right now that could eat 80 hot dogs in 20 minutes, never mind 10 minutes. Um, to paint the teal? No, those are, um, those are tile. You can't paint those. How can you find hot dog? How can I find the hot dog challenge? Um, just go to YouTube and type in Nathan's Hot Dog Challenge 2021. Um, why, do you, why do you start challenges? Why did I start challenges? I don't know. It's just something I always wanted to do. Just I like challenges. So, um, Garlic, do you, I saw one for sale, but it had a 1,000 cc. Yeah, they, people, they're old. So it's tough to find one that hasn't been modified because they're so old. Um, it's a dancing lemon. Thank you, Christina. <laughs> Uh, you should do a taco challenge. I've done taco challenges. I've done a giant taco challenge, and I've done a lot of taco challenges. Um, not from Oxford, no. Um, how does Joey do it? He practices, and he trains. That's how he does it. There's no tricks. Uh, someone, someone wants me to do a giant cheese challenge. Oof. What time is it? Uh, it's only 9 o'clock. Um, APC7, I'm an Auburn... Do a video where you face off against normal eater. Uh, no, it's not really fair. Uh, Bob said he wanted to do... Um, I want to have another cookie. Uh, yeah, I, I would. I don't know. We got to find a time where we all can get together, though. All right, I should have got something to drink. You guys tied in that pizza race with Joey. 
So in that pizza race with Joey, if you watch the video, Joey puts his hands up before I do. I didn't know we were supposed to put our hands up. I thought we could just put our hand over our mouth because all the, the contest ends when everything's in your mouth, not swallowed in that contest. So I just put my hand over my mouth. I saw Joey throw up his hands. And so then I threw up my hands. That's why my hands went up after his. But then if you watch the video carefully, you'll see Joey's hand come in and then he stops because he realizes he can't do it. And there's a little piece of pizza hanging out of his mouth. So you guys can decide from that what happened. But it was, I think it was justified in calling a tie. I'm not, I wasn't mess, mad with it. Cheap's awesome, Wrangler SRT or Trackhawk. No, I got a CJ. CJ7. Um, yes, Molly and Joe are both, Joey are both tough. Tough competitors, the best in the world. Yeah, Adam cooked like the breakfast video I'd put out. Have you thought of dating a female? What? Yeah, like every 20 minutes. Um, thank you. What's Kobayashi stir? I don't really know. I never met Kobayashi. Matt's greater than Joey. Mm, I don't think so. Matt would tell you the same thing. If Joey wanted to win a contest, there's nothing he could do. But if he, Joey didn't um, come 100% ready, yes, you had a chance of beating him. Darren Eats, Jeff's keeping it real. Yeah. Should I, should, I, should I say some other stuff, Darren? Make everybody mad? Matt versus Joey. Matt only shows up if he can win. No, that's not true. Matt, Matt knows his limits. I mean, he's, he's done the circuit a bunch of times. I mean, how long do you want him to be in it? Um, he's got bigger and better things to do now. Let's see, Joe, uh, Darren, what else could I say that would make other other eaters mad? Um, uh, some, of the, some of the amounts of food that people say they've eaten or they can eat are definitely, definitely exaggerated. The number one best example of that would be, um, Darren, were you at Poutine the last time they had it? I don't know. I, I'll have to scroll down to see if he answers that. The numbers of the pounds of poutine eaten at the poutine contest, you can probably take 30 to 40% off all of those numbers. So if some, let's just pick, someone said they ate 10 pounds at that contest. They probably only ate maybe eh, six and a half, seven pounds, maybe. Those numbers were super jagged. Nothing to do with the sponsor. The sponsor... Um, excellent he didn't like plan it they're making it make it that way it was just the the way the food comes out they they have the they have buckets in his gravy and, and um uh french fries in each bucket a little bit of cheese you only have to scoop the french fries out so there's in some of those buckets there's quite a bit of gravy left over you don't we don't have to eat. they told us we don't even have to eat the gravy so like half you know 30 to 40 percent of the weight is left in the buckets so they weighed the buckets and everything's legit, but the amount of food eaten at that contest, no, not accurate. Even I think I, they gave me some crazy number. I think they said I ate, I can't even remember. I never remember what I, the numbers I do. Um, I was like 20 pounds, they said. I, I, I was sitting there when they announced it. That I didn't eat no 20 pounds. What the heck are they talking about? <laughs> Those numbers were crazy. So unless you see the actual thing weighed or if you see it... Um, if it's like prepackaged food, like, um, I don't know, like a, for, for our contest we do with uh, moon pies, those come out of the package. They all weigh the same. There's nothing you can fool around with them. So those weights are accurate, but for a lot of the other weights, people are just out of their minds that the, the weights they think, um, do the one chip challenge, Alan C. Maybe I should do a spicy challenge. One of these times, it's gotta be a good one. I, maybe I got to hook up with, um, I got to get some advice from uh, Beyond Seattle, Seattle Eats, or if I'm really crazy, I could ask Luther the Great, what should I do? Michael, fight, face off against five eaters. Am I a motorcycle guy? No, I don't have a motorcycle. No motorcycles here. I, I put all my money into my, uh, my, my Jeep. 
Uh, I'm afraid to add up all the money I put into that thing. It, it's it's too much. Too way too much. Six anomalies good. Swallowing whole foods is pretty good. Darren eats. Yes. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember what I did. This is, it's a little bit late. I'm not sure what I was talking about then. We'll have to read it later. Yes, those numbers are always exaggerated. Yes. They were, they were, that, that was the worst contest for exaggerated numbers. And the thing about it is, Darren, uh, Aaron, is people think they actually ate that much. They're like, yeah, I, ate, they, I can, I hear them. They say, yeah, I ate this much at that con. I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> um, Oh, six normally. I don't know about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, challenge full of what you eat normally when... Uh, again, it's not... It's like... Um, oh, Aaron's pretty knowledgeable about it. Yeah, I remember you used to do some live... T live. Yeah, that's right. You had some spicy stuff in your lives when you did your lives. You haven't done one in a long time. Can Molly Shula beat Joey Chestnut at Nathan's? I think the odds would be against her. Um... It's just Joey's got too much um, to lose. He would practice like crazy, and he's got way too much experience. He knows how to train for that contest now. I'm scared for you. I don't know what about maybe the spicy thing. What is your favorite video game of all time? Oh, I think I used to play... What was I can't even remember. It was on a Sega Genesis. Um, uh, it was one of those action action adventure games. I can't remember it. the shoot. I won it. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. But I used to play uh, Revenge of Shinobi a lot too. But I, that wasn't my favorite. The action adventure game was like a we you, you follow the story and you save it and you keep playing and playing and playing. That was my favorite. I can't remember the name of it. Shoot, it's been a long time. Is Joey mean? Nah, Joey's not mean. What about spicy squid? No, I'm not eating any squid. Ugh. Tom Bro Burger Time is the old school arcade. Tom Bro, huh? Hmm. My favorite food and food challenge. Uh, it's got to be pizza. I mean, I really like pizza. That's no surprise. Um, let's see. Rise. Ah. Uh, Rise from your grave, yeah, that was um shoot, what was the name of that game? That was uh uh that uh, yeah, you used to get those little power ups and then you you would uh turn into a wolf or something like that. I remember that game. Do you think Reina or Eric the Electric gave competitive eaters a bad name by misleading the audience on several occasions? Uh I don't think so. I think um the number of people that would probably even know about that is pretty small. I mean, they've got a lot of followers, and a lot of followers just like watching their videos, and they, they don't really dissect them like a competitive eater would. So the number of people that know that they cheat or are is like I think it's pretty small, actually. You know, you're Aaron, you're in the game, you know all about competitive eaters and the, the videos, and you know all these people and stuff like that, so you know this stuff. But like the casual watcher, they don't they don't watch that stuff. They don't know. Um, that's my opinion, anyways. Golden Axe, yeah, that was a fun game. Uh, is Derek Jacobs mean? I don't... Actually, I never really talked much about uh, to Derek Jacobs. Um, I don't I don't know if he's mean. Doesn't, you know, like judo, don't get on his bad side. He'll karate chop you or something. Um, who do you get excited about watching eat? I watch you. Uh, Randy Chantel. Let's see. Yep, yeah, I watch... Let's see. I watch... I wish I could go on here and tell you the people I'm subscribed to. Randy, Dar uh, let's see, Darren, Molly, yep. <laughs> that sexy black haired British chick. <laughs> actually, I don't watch Leah Leah's videos too much. I watch um, Luther the Great, actually, I watch. He does the spicy stuff. Um, who else? Uh, shoot, I wish I could just go on there. I got another, I think I got another phone. Uh, Derek Hendrickson, he started doing videos. I watched Matt Stoney. Um, oh, Badlands. I watch a lot of different people. Um, Joel Hansen, I watch. 
Kabuchi, I don't understand the word he says, but I watch his videos. Um, Bob, I watch. Uh, definitely. Um, uh, Brandon, the garbage disposal. The problem with Brandon is he puts out a video every single day, so you can't. You, it's just impossible to watch them all. Um, Darren's here for the soup. All right. Eric, are you saying Eric cheats? I don't know. I don't. To tell you the truth, all these videos, um, I guess the biggest video that people are talking about now that's full of cheating is Raina's video. I had, I, I just, I watched the videos. I don't watch for cheating or anything. I didn't care. I, I, after it all came out, she cheated. I said, I, I really don't care if they cheat. Doesn't matter to me if they cheat. Oh, uh, okay. You're going to go through all. I want to know if I'm mean. Yeah, I'm kind of mean. Ask anybody. Um, Leah got deleted. What? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I watched Joel Hansen. Yeah, Joel just did the giant Toblerone challenge. I watched that. Is Raiders cheating? Yeah, like again, I really don't. To me, I don't care if these people cheat. Doesn't doesn't mean anything to me. The only time I care if someone cheats is if it's at a contest. <laughs> hmm. Fuel me once. I'm not mean. Let's see. We can try some more of these chips. I think these the the original these ones here are good. Tastes like Fritos. They're like hollow inside. Jeff's a liar. I mean, I mean, um, Darren. I start all. I write all the comments on uh, Eat Beats. G. E. Smith. I've done liquid challenges. I've done. I've chugged milk, eggnog. I Smith. I've done a chug challenge before. I'm slow though. How Raina eats everything with her hands. Don't we all? Well, we all eat with our hands. Um, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. That's not true. Careful, Tom. You lost your Rolex. Holy cow. Yes, David. Uh, Brandon Clark used to edit my videos. Oh, God. Caroline, are you, um, you and Darren drinking? Would I rather eat two pounds of earwax or chug two gallons of snob? What? Oh, uh, Nate Figueroa, yeah. I watched some of his videos. I like it when he's in the other videos with his um with the Delray Misfits. He's not on there very often though. I think it's annoying listening to me chunch on these things. I'll stop. Furious Pete, yeah, I used to watch Furious Pete a lot. Um, I haven't watched him in a while. Um, just kind of his channel kind of changed there. Back when he was eating competitively, the, the, the talent, I think, was a little bit less. Um, so he did really well. I think he would have trouble if he competed today. Um, just the way it is. Everything gets better and better as it goes along. What food challenge gave you the best pump lifting that you can remember? When I used to lift, I never did like bodybuilding, so I never used to like do a lot of pumping like that. I used to just do powerlifting. So I really, I never used to do any bodybuilding like stuff like that. So I don't know. There's not really much. I used to, I never really paid much attention to my diet when I was lifting really heavy. Uh, scratchers, they are independent eaters, not sanctioning them at like General Tuna Esper and, right.
We used to have to do the handstand uh, push-ups against the wall when I used to do CrossFit. So, but I never, never could do it free, free. I never put the practice into trying. I just always, once we did the wall ones, that's, that's all we had to do. So, practice into trying. I just always, once we did the wall ones, that's, that's all we had to do. So, I'm not, I'm not a professional eating legend. If I, if I, if I would have stopped competitive eating, you would, my, my name would go out. If I would have stopped competitive eating, you would, my, my name would go out in a year or two. You wouldn't even hear about me anymore. A 30 pound pizza challenge? Yes, I would, Ryan, I would definitely do a 30 pound pizza challenge with a partner though. Delray Misfits used to be a funny channel. Yeah. Uh, Big Lenny's a freak. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Big Lenny's changing though. I don't know. He's less of a freak and more of like a weirdo now. I don't know. Um, he's got to do something about his health. He's not going to make it. Yeah. Would I ever do a video with Eric Electric? Sure. Um, Actually, I asked, I was going to be out in California. I asked Eric if he wanted to do a video. I know he failed the Big Fat Fatty. I asked him if he wanted to go back and try it with me, and he said no, um, which was fine because it's a tough challenge. I, I didn't really feel any bad about that. Um, Badlands Tuna. Sean Nichols. Yep. Uh, do I work out right after I challenge this? No. That would not be very good. After I do my challenges, I clean up. They got to clean up the mess because usually it's a lot of cooking and stuff like that. Um, a freaking amazing eating challenge collab would be featuring you and LA Beast. Hundred do, yeah. I met LA Beast one time after Coney. Um, the guy was very nice. Actually, I was very surprised he knew who I was. Um, he actually did a hot dog eating contest not far from me. I think it was like. Uh, under two hours away from my house. I almost went in there and watched him. I guess I guess it, uh, he ended up throwing up, though, like usual. <laughs> you are the man. Hello from Maine. Thank you. Yes, I used to love going to Maine. I used to go up around the... Um, I used to go with my, my friend's uncle. used to live up near the Sugarloaf area, and we used to go up there in the winter and in the summer doing hiking. And I'd done quite a bit of hiking up in Maine. I've done the... Um, uh, some of the, the Bigelow Range I've done... Uh, that's near Sugarloaf, and I've done the entire 100-mile wilderness. What's my favorite food challenge and why? Uh, I like the... I don't know, any of the ones with cash prizes are my favorite. <laughs> Southside 6, they had a decent prize. We had the... Um, what's that? I did a $1,000 one. I can't remember... Um, Benny's, I think that was a cash prize. You had to beat the time. That was a good one. Do you ever go and watch other contests that isn't ML? Yeah, actually, I did. I watched the hot dog eating contest a couple weeks ago. The winner ate 12, I think. Do most competitive eaters purge after a challenge? Um, I think that matters with the food. If we eat chili, I think the answer is pretty good chance. If we eat um, chicken wings or something like that, I don't, I don't think so. Anyone who enjoys food, oh, thanks, Tom. But I don't know if that's true. Uh, do you like Indian curry? Um, I never had it. Yeah, it would be a good challenge. I didn't have. I used to have a, uh, one of my students' parents used to own an Indian restaurant, but I don't think they own it anymore. What's my thoughts on throwing up? Tuna, why would I be thinking about throwing up? <laughs> the idea is not to throw up, right? If you throw up at a contest, you lose. Uh, let's see. Let's number of people drop. Let's see. I'll go for a couple more minutes. Let's see. We'll go to 930, and then I think I'll call it. Um, would love to see you, Molly Joel, do a 50, 60-pound challenge. Man, I'd love to do another. Darren, remember that big hamburger we did? That, that I wish we could do another challenge like that. That was... I was having a bad day that day, but still, that was a fun time. Um, twenty pound. I think I've done that, Jason. Uh, you got to check through my old videos. I think I might have done that twenty pound mashed potato challenge. Daryl Quinney, fifty two pizza. I don't know the subject. I teach electronics. What's up, JJ? Let's just laugh. Thank you. Indian curry is hot as a volcano. 
Uh, I think you can get it different, though. I don't think you have to get it spicy. Uh, thanks, Blake. <laughs> I don't know. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, the hamburger thing was a lot of fun. I wish, I wish we could find someone that was super rich that would do something like that again. That was that was fun. Uh, am I looking forward to starting school? Never. I'm not least of looking forward to starting school. Garlic the goose. You ever eat full belly clams? Uh, I don't know. I don't really go to Ronnie's too often. Um, you killed it. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, the hamburger, but I was having a bad day that day. I, uh, it was not a good, not a good day. Hallie. Out of competitive eaters, Jeff is my favorite. I always look forward to your next video. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Hallie. I appreciate that. Nine ninety nine from Hallie. Nice bright yellow. Um, tuna is into the throwing up. Let's see. I'll answer his question so to stop that. Tuna, curious. Found you found purging as an insult. No, people do whatever they want. It doesn't matter to me, Tuna. I'm not very judgmental of people. I don't care what they eat. They can put anything they want on their food, and then afterwards they can do whatever they want. I don't. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, what challenge was shady to you? Tried to trick or cheat you? I've never had anybody try to cheat me in a challenge. No, I know. I do my research. I know what the challenge is. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not afraid to do any um any challenge. Oh, 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 Daryl, oh the fifty two inch pizza. Oh, that was out in California. Yes, yes, yes. That was a four person challenge, yeah. I did a, I did one that was almost as big. I think it was uh it was a forty inch pizza, forty by forty, um, not too long ago. And that was just two of us that did that and they will have to wait till the video comes out to see if we were able to do it. It was a huge pizza. Steve, what are my lifts, my PRs? So my best um, squat bench dead, I'm, I think you're talking about. My best squat was in a contest uh, that was uh, equipped. That means I had a squat suit on. Loose, it was a marathon. I don't know if you guys know about that. Marathon squat suit and regular knee wraps. Um, that was 700. My best bench in the contest, my best bench was, that's with a pause. That was It was raw with a pause. It was 395. And I did 410 in the gym, but I don't think that counts. It has to be at a contest. And my best deadlift at a contest was 685, I think it was. I had 700 up to my knees one contest, but I never got it, so it didn't, doesn't count. Um, my YouTube name. I still love six foot hoagie sub challenge. Yeah, that was good. Uh, G7, they provided that um, hoagie for me. That was really, really good. So, do the Hooters girls kiss you if you win the contest? <laughs> no, Darren, they don't kiss you. They just take a picture with you and throw you to throw you away. Um, Joey gets the Hooters girls. He, I think, he was a judge at the Hooters contest again this year. Uh, Darren, <laughs> can't wait. Uh, who's who's your top three favorite competitive eaters? Not include you. Um, top my top three favorite competitive eaters are. Let's see. I would have to be my favorite three, huh? Molly, um, Pat Bertoletti, and the. Third one, um, Carmen Sincotti. How about that? Hey, this is Doris. Hi, Doris. I bet nobody would think I'd pick those three. I'd like to see what you guys think of those picks. Those are my three favorite competitive eaters. Molly, Pat Bertoletti, and um, <laughs> I can't remember his name now. What did I say? Uh that means Esper needs to go to Vegas for. <laughs> I don't need to go all the way to Vegas to get get a kiss. Oh my God, Sean Nichols. Um, I 
I did a ham challenge, hands on. I, it's tough to find a challenge I haven't done yet. Do I have carpeting in my bathroom? No, no carpeting in my bathroom. Pie and ice cream challenge, yeah. Um, bathroom carpet, what a weird question. Um, if you probably won't see this, but just say you are a good dude. Thank, thank you, TX, two times. Um, <laughs> thanks, Doris. All right, I think we're past. Oh, we've got one more minute. Okay. So, any guys got last minute questions? Carmen Scotty had a. No, Carmen Scotty was. Thing about Carmen Scotty, he was smart enough to get out of competitive eating. That's what his problem was. He knew it just was not worth it. Do I think the 400 mark will ever be broken at Gyoza's? Is... Ooh, Darren, that's a good question. Mm, no, I don't think so. Maybe if somebody was there that could push Joey, maybe. But with the current field, no, I don't think so. Um, how often do you live stream? I don't know, what is it? like? Probably like once a month, not that often. I knew Molly was one of yours. Have a you tried Toasty Ravia? No, I haven't. How the Browns, Pat's Milk Chug back in the day. Yes, actually, I did. I did recreate a Pat's milk chug. He did it faster than me, but then I did another one. I did more than him. So, but yeah, uh, Pat Bertoletti was the pioneer in a lot of different things in competitive eating that nobody knows about. What's the current record? I don't know what you're talking about. What's your ethnicity? Human. Um, Carmen Scotty, yes, love him. Yes, he was awesome. Um, <laughs> Ivy, I don't have any idea what foods are. I just not much into it. <clears throat> what do I do besides being a professional leader? I'm a teacher. Have a good night. Yeah, we got to call. We gotta, I could push Joey off the stage. <laughs> People always want to hurt Joey. He's just, don't be mad at him because he's good. Have a great night. Comment on Joey's most recent YouTube. Raw list is challenge with Darren. Come on, man. NNJ's donut. Yeah, I've done a bunch of donut challenges from NNJ's there. Nolan, I check out my videos. I've done, I've eaten, I've eaten the giant ones. Check that video out. Um, Greg Haddad. Uh, I can't say that I do. Um, yes. Okay, Sean Nichols. I know what you're talking about. Uh, thanks for sharing. That's the only way to beat him at Nathan. Yeah, I don't want to cheat. If you're gonna, don't get me mad because you can't beat him straight up. Joey's not going to be defeated at Coney again. What will happen is he'll either not go, not compete, and then somebody else will win that way. Um, no, nobody's going to take the belt from him. Unless he has like a bad car accident right before Coney and he still tries to compete and he can't do it. Um, that's the only only way that he's going to um, be defeated. But if he comes to Coney... Look, you gotta you gotta figure. Okay, who I got second place. I got fifty hot dogs. Okay, Joey had seventy five, uh, seventy six. Let's just say seventy five, so the numbers are nice. So he ate twenty five more hot dogs than I did. That's five plates of food. Five plates. Five plates of hot dogs. Ten hot dogs weigh two pounds. Okay, two point two pounds. So it's ten hot dogs is a kilogram. So that's two point two pounds. So he has um, over. He's eating five more pounds in that 10 minutes than the rest of us. Five more pounds. Five pounds is a lot. You're lucky if you can gain a pound. There's just no way. There's just no way no one is going to be able to make that um, jump. I don't even know if there's anybody. I don't even know if I could eat 76 hot dogs given 20 minutes. Because I, I, you slow down. After that 10-minute mark... You're lucky to eat three, four hot dogs a minute. You're like three hot dogs a minute is probably what's going to happen. And then towards the end there, you're probably going to drop to one or two a minute. No, it's just, it's not going to happen. All right. You have to be at the 50 mark by like minute seven in order to hit 75. The minute seven, that means he's three minutes ahead of you. How are you going to make up that time? Not possible. 
in my opinion, Elon Bust with a robotic hippopotamus. It's pretty cool. 1999. Thank you, Elon. Look at that thing. That thing's pretty cool, actually. It looks like a um, Borg, half Borg. Um, my next challenge will be, yeah, I'll tell you, I'm going to do a poutine. I actually, I bought some real squeaky cheese. Darren is the champion at eating cheese curds. So I'm going to, I got some real cheese curds, Darren, and I'm going to be put, making some real poutine. Well, it's going to have crappy gravy, but... Um, should have splashed water to us. No, don't cheat the win. Molly can eat steak faster than Joey. I don't know. I've never seen Joey eat steak competitively. So how do you guys know this stuff? You ever see Joey try to eat steak as fast as he can? I never have. So I, I don't know who would win that contest. Yeah. See, Sean Nichols knows. I, I don't know the exact numbers, but yeah, you have to be... Yeah, that's me. I, I hit 50 at the contest. That means I have to improve my 50 time by three to four minutes. It's just not not possible. I mean, maybe I could get a little bit better, hit 55 if I put more practice in or something like that. Maybe top end 60, but even 60 would be a stretch for me. It's just not going to happen. And I don't see it happening for anybody else. Darren's in here. I don't know if he wants to say he, he thinks he could do it, but I don't know. Joey has to beat Molly. He can't say he's the real champ. Why? Why is that? That's not true. He won Nathan's. Anybody can go to Nathan's. So if if Molly wanted to go to Nathan's, she could. Um, it wouldn't be in the same contest, but that wouldn't matter if her number beat his number. Then she she would have a better number. So that is not true. You only can win if you show up. Darren is a beast. Yes, he was showing me some dirt bike pictures today too. Pretty cool. I like that. I like the um. If I was going to, if I was going to, it's past the time I said, if I was going to get the um, RM125 or your KDX, Darren, I think I'd probably go with the KDX. That would be more fun in the trails. If it was like more racing and stuff like that, the RM, I think would, I'd go with that. What makes some eaters better than others? Yeah, a little big head 15. That's um combination of practice and ability, right? That's every, every sport, right? Karen, you're trying to be the second Japanese guy to take one handcuffs on. <laughs> yeah. do, you, do I think men and women should compete together at Nathan's? Uh, I don't know. I think it, people like it the bet, the way it is. I, I think I'm not that good at figuring out logistics and what people like to watch and stuff like that. So uh, I, I, it's, it's up to that. I think it's it's good the way it is. Do you want to be the number one in the most pounds eaten? I don't I don't know what the most pounds eaten actually was. Um, it's probably by some Japanese guy because the way they do their contests are different than we do over here. What about the YZ250? Yeah, the YZ was cool. I had, um when I was a little young kid, I had an RM80. Is Nathan's the only contest? Yes, that's the only contest, Darren. Yes, Splash, Splash Joey. Darren, I think you should just let let Joey have Nathan's, and then all the other contests you can you can um, sabotage him at because you in the end you can make more money that way. If you win all the other contests, you'd make way more money. Boris, yes, Westfield, Indiana. It was Andre the Giant when he drank a hundred beers. I heard that. I heard Andre the Giant drank a hundred beers. I don't know how long it was. But yeah, that was definitely a hundred. Imagine drinking a hundred beers. Whew. He was a big dude, though. Darren, is Darren gonna go live? He was already live once today. I don't know if he's gonna go again. I got to see his little his his, his um his cat too. Uh, Andre the Giant. Yeah, I'm sure some of the stories got exaggerated, but I'm sure he actually did drink a lot. He was a huge guy. Keeping women in, so Doris thinks it's good to keep things separate. And she might have a good perspective on it because Doris was a um, professional female wrestler. And obviously their female and male wrestlers were separated. No, nope, Darren's, Darren's busy. Um, he 
You guys all want to. You guys all want to know about throwing up and. All right. Any last? I gotta have a good way to end these challenges, like Darren does. Anybody got a last minute questions about anything competitive eating? Most likely, though. And then I'll. I'm already a little bit past my time here. Whew, it's so hot. I gotta go take a cold shower. Um, chili dog challenge, sure. That would be fun. I don't drink any alcohol. It's past 9.30. Yeah, it's not... For people on the West Coast, it's not even late, but I've been on here a while. My best food moment. That's a good question. And um, I think my best contest... Uh... Actually, it was my my favorite contest. The one I won was probably the Hooters contest. That was why I was I didn't think I had a chance at all. I thought it was totally um, I was going to get killed, and I ended up winning it. I think I, that's the one I got the record too. I don't know what the record is though. What's the hardest thing you've ever chugged? I don't do a lot of chugs. Um, hardest thing I ever chugged. It had to have been, you know, what's hard for me to chug this straight water. Um, if I just chug straight water, that's that actually, that's harder than, than I can chug eggnog or milk. It's easier for me to, to not feel sick than if it's just regular plain old water. Last meal on death row. Don't say pizza. Okay. How about calzone? Um, my me and Molly and this run John Frank. Everybody know John Frank here. John Frank is obsessed with Molly and Killer Kennedy. He, I think that's all he thinks about all day long is watching those two's videos and now he's talking about his lives. That's, that's what he does. So you guys know if you want to buy John Frank something for Christmas, now you know what to get him. Water sucks, yes. Last meal. I already said it's cal that would be a calzone, right? Saucy sauce. Carolyn, thank you for the awesome stream. All right. So, yeah, I got to figure out how to end this stream here. Oh, it's obviously this one. So, yeah, thanks, for everybody, for coming. Um, I'll have to do this again. Try some of these treats. Um, again, you guys want to know more about these treats, I'm going to put the information in the um, description video below. I'll probably do that tomorrow morning after this video uploads. Okay, so if you want to try some of these treats, I don't know. This is pretty cool. These were all from Brazil. Everything was good. That about the um, the bonbon was the best. My favorite though. No, you guys can't see me, Logan. All right, so I'm gonna end this. Thanks for coming.